Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Now due to real life reasons I need to create a little bit of a backlog for this uh, series. So actually we're not going to have any custom courtiers for a week. Just because that's the easiest way to uh, get some extra recording time in. So let's uh, get started. We, uh, we are still playing of course as Christopher. And we are in our court trying to effectively clean it up a little bit. I mean we're not actively... You know, going straight after people who are of a different religion, say... We wouldn't just be going to Lenzi Stone Crows and just killing him. Well, we'll be waiting for them to slip up, and then by making their life kind of worse. And then we will uh, imprison them with righteous reasons, obviously. You know, we're, we're not we're, we're not doing it out in the open. We're doing it a little bit sneakily, but not really that sneakily. Uh, King Lancelin created the High Lordship of Harlaw. Now, do we not control Harlaw? Uh, we do indeed control the Lordship of Harlaw. Who is the High Lordship controlled by then? Is it just controlled by Lancelin directly? Oh, it's controlled by Lancel Lannister. Oh, okay. So this is... He created something for some relation of his. A nephew or something? Uh, where is the current leader? That's, um... Okay. Uh... Where, where's the other one that we were just looking at? Oh, is it from a completely different line or something? Um, this is weird. Why does it go quite so far down like that? That's very odd. So we got Lancel of Harlot all the way up here. Only a couple of generations down. This is weird. Yeah. So. Yeah, according to this, it's like his great, 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 uh, great, 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 great. Great, 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 great uncle. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Some, something like that. Yeah. Oh, well. He's some re relation of the Lannisters. What packs does he have? He only has non-aggression packs. Okay. So, he is the rightful owner of the High Lordship. But we already control one in the High Lordship. So, does he desire this province, then? Um... He, does, yes, he desires the lordship. Okay, cool. Is there a way we can take the high lordship from him? Because we have a lot more, we have reasonably more men once we actually get up to full power. Um, yeah, probably there isn't a way of directly taking the high lordship just yet. Unless we have, like, some faction to do that. Uh, we do not have a faction. So I guess we need to fabricate on... What does he actually control? Here's a question, because the High Lordship is de jure these three provinces, and he doesn't have any of them. What is it non de jure? It's just this province. Oh, okay. Lannisport. Yeah. Well, if we could take Lannisport, that'd be quite nice. Well, we really want the High Lordship of Harlaw, but if we could take uh, Lannisport uh, as part of that, that would be a good idea for us, I suppose. Can't get a new job until December. Okay, cool. So we'll just kind of be at peace till December. No real problems. Uh, Lord Ramsay is ransoming people from other things. Uh, Theoden Martell is known as Careless. And uh, 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 Gwyneth died a natural death. She was married to Pete. They have had one daughter, Jeanne. Jen? I don't know. And, uh, yeah. Well, apart from this war, the realm's kind of peaceful. Never mind. Uh, King Euron of Westeros has declared the Westeros Westlander to your war over the rock on King Lancelin of the Rock. Okay, so we have King Euron being uh, the drowned god, King of Westeros uh, and holder of yeah, the High Lord of Great Wick is all he actually holds himself and the Lord of Dragonstone. He's declared Westlander to your war over the rock. So, Lord Tristopher, the realm is in a state of war and as such, I as your liege king command that you provide men to support my armies. Regards, Lancelin of House Lannister, King of the Rock. How many men do you have? 31,000. And Great and uh, what's it called? King of Westeros and Great Wick have 33,000. So this is actually a fairly even fight. You're also at War of the Reach. And we really, we would much prefer to have a Drowned God uh, person in charge. So we are going to... Uh, your liege, Lancel Lannister, is the king. Your liege, Lancel Lannister, is the king. Which one do we join? Uh, I guess we say the rebels' cause is just. So 
Support the throne. This is the throne. He is the rebel? I think this is the one we want. This is a weird thing, because it's like... It doesn't tell you the right options. Who did we join? We joined on the wrong side. Oh, that is... Infuriating. I actually don't know if we could have joined on the right side there. I think both sides would have just joined us with our king. That's a little bit off. Anyway, whatever. It's like, because I, I wasn't misreading that, right? Because the top option said, like, um, oh, Lord Lannis of Lordsport died a natural death and actually didn't have any heir. That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, the top option said he, that our liege would get opinion gain from it. And the bottom option said just said our liege something. I guess we would have had to just said not concern ourselves, and we couldn't actually join the other side. I don't know. I guess it's not meant for multiple kings to exist. Uh, Lord Christopher Pike has inherited the Lordship of Lordsport from Lord Lannis of Lordsport, and he is no longer our just car. So, we need a new just car, and we need a new person to be in charge of Lordsport. Uh, so, I would suspect what we would want to do. Well, it's either we want a new person in charge of Lordsport or of Harlow Hill. Which one is better? Uh, Harlow Hill is far, far better. Right. So we want someone in charge of Lordsport. Lordsport, um, I guess we also want a Justicar in charge? So whoever we give Justicar to is who we really want to be in charge, I guess. Um, do we have any friends? We have no friends, we have no rivals. Okay. Uh, how about Justin? My opinion of Justin's pretty high. I'm just saying, like, he has the highest uh, diplomacy to start with. Justin is a reaver who we've gone reaving with before. We quite like him, and he's Drowned God. We have Jimmy, who we like a little bit more, who is also Drowned God. We also have Morgan, who we don't like in his old gods. Where's the next Drowned God after that? Next Drowned God after that is Leos, uh, who we don't like. And then Tiberius who we actually really quite like, but isn't very good at diplomacy, but is quite good at fighting. What other things do we have as our things? So apart from Zealous, we're a bit, a bit deceitful, we're a bit wroth, we're a bit arbitrary, we're a bit greedy. We are a reaver. And we do get same trait opinion bonuses, which makes me think we do like other reavers, which is definitely leading me to think that Justin is the right answer here. I am just seeing if there are... I mean, Tiberius is definitely another option here. Uh, he just isn't very good as a Justicar, and we do need to put this new person on the council. Uh, is he better than our martial arm, our master of arms? Yes, he's a better Justicar, possibly. So we could do it like that if we wanted to. Um, I think we're going to give it to Justin, though, because Justin is uh, highborn to start with, and is uh, like better at diplomacy. And already, and we don't have to switch around our council positions. So let's uh, give him Lord Support. Where is Justin? There we go. Yes, we'll give him that. Justin, you are going to be given Lordship of Lord Support. There we go. Justin is no longer a just car, it says, but we can put him back in charge, right? Yeah. He should probably quite like us. No, he doesn't quite like He doesn't like us a lot because of the uh, Lordship. Interesting. I mean, I suppose we are a known murderer, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, we still want our claim on Lannisport, I think. Cool. And, uh, I think that's about it on terms of that. That little bit of play. Oh, we also need a new commander and sworn shield. So, sworn shield, sort by, um, Marshall just to get the kind of general best, and then we'll just kind of look down. None of you, Drowned God, you're a four. You, Tiberius, are also a four, and you are a four. Four, two, four, eight, but it's not right. Okay, so I guess we'll go for Harlan, because he's just the highest up on that list. Commander, uh, none of you, none of you. Justin could be our commander, and he was our commander, wasn't he? Was he a commander? Yes, he wasn't a commander before. He is now. Cool. Oh, no, he's a Drustikar, he can't be a commander. Yes, 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 I remember. Can't be a commander, because we can't have him leading armies. Silas is our treasurer. Tiberius it has no bonuses. Uragron. Oh, okay. Uh, he ha he's Craven. Yeah, no. Then we have Larence. Larence seems like a good option. There we go. Wait, Larence is... Uh, 
Oh, he's the wrong religion. <sighs> right. Now I've made these rules, I have to stick to them. Uh, I guess we'll put Tiberius in charge. He's not that good at actually fighting, like as in leading armies, but he's reasonably alright at uh, his marshal. So he's got no special bonuses, but he's fine. Right. Let's uh, let things go. We've won the Siege of Castly Rock, says the Reach. Okay. Cool. That's pretty good for them. I don't feel well. Something is wrong with me. I'm burning up with fever. My nose is running. My head feels as if someone is banging something hard against it. Please kill me. Oh, we're ill. Not good. Oh, but now we're better. Okay. Just within one auto save, we're fine. Uh, there's some votes going on in the Stormlands. Reach are definitely... Oh, I was going to say are losing, but they are actually winning. Never mind. Uh, no, as in... I was saying the Reach... That means sorry. I was thinking the Reach were winning because they just took Castly Rock, but it looks like they are losing. We are on the. Yes, we are on the L Lannister side. Yes, that is correct. Uh, for a second there, I was like, do I have this right? But I do. Yes. Uh, to all my subjects for the f crime of failing to keep the peace and disobeying express command to cease hostilities, I hereby name Sir Brandon Betley a traitor and enemy of the realm. Signed, King Lancelin of House Lannister. Oh, Betley. So you are over here. Oh, okay. Well, it's not a problem. We did the same kind of stuff. This Harren Hor has returned with a lot of money when he went raiding. I'd really like to be able to go raiding, but we can't, so that's fine. Is there any way of, like, joining the Rebels' cause or, like, going away from our leash, like, halfway through the war, or do we just have to choose at the start? I mean, we could declare our own war to get rid of him, but that's probably not the best plan ever. Yeah, he still has a lot of men, right? Yeah, he still has 25,000. It would just be suicide. Oh, it looks like he's winning against um, these guys. It says he won the Siege of Castle Rock, but he quite clearly just lost a battle there. Hmm. Oh, maybe he j assaulted it and then lost the battle. That's an option. Uh, there are many mysteries in the Drowned God religion. It might be interesting to learn more about the ancient stories told by the Drowned Men's. Drowned Man's. Um, yeah, okay. Let's listen to some of this. We are zealous. Uh, we have a weak claim we can press on Hawthorne. Um, four. We can re like, we're pressing it for Leonette Sarwick, who is Faith of the Seven. She was married to Lord Lannis. Nah, let's not do that. That doesn't seem like we're interested in. Our leash is winning both wars currently, which is a bit disappointing. We, we kind of want them to lose. It bothers me that my ki uh, liege, King Lancelin, holds the Lordship of Pike when it should be rightfully mine. Well, I mean, of course we'll request it. <gasps> Lord Christopher, I fear you have failed to convince me of the justice of your request. Regretfully, I cannot oblige you. Signed, King Lancelin of House Lannister. Disappointing. Yeah, that's not good. Well, that was the event I was looking for to try and get the la Ed land, but it's, it's an event where they pretty much always say no. Lord Vaker the Exile's been uh, banished again from Lord Reaver Gillum the Downcast Lands. So he's no longer in the Blackwood Lands. He is now in... Uh, oh, he's now in the Night's Watch. He's... Or where are the rest of the Targaryens? Held by Storm King Kristen the Meek. Held by King Urin. Yeah. Um, in Manteris. In Manteris. Yeah, interesting. In the past few months, you have spent many nights listening to the old myths and stories of the Drowned God Faith. The tales told of the, ground, uh, of the Drowned God are most inspiring and contain much wisdom that can help you in your daily life. It is wise to listen and ponder. Okay, we got some religious studying going on. Our learning's going up. That's alright. Alessant died after a period of illness. She was married to King Emmon of the Reach. Uh, I forgot to look at our children. We haven't looked at them in a while. Uh, they're not quite old enough to need to actually be looked at in terms of focuses and things. Or anything like that. Or educations. We already looked at focuses for them, I think, when they were born. Cool. Uh, King Urin of Westeros has inherited the High Lord of Acorns Ridge from Lord Reaver Theomor the Holy. Okay. Prince Theoden the Careless has formed an alliance with Tyka of Dark Den. Where is Dark Den? He's formed an alliance with the pirates. Okay. How did you, uh, swing that? It renegotiated a non-aggression pact into an alliance. 
So I guess they had a marriage alliance. Now I'm trying to work this out. How this work? How this actually came about? I guess maybe it was just like um, yeah, alliances through favors. Maybe I don't know. One child lacks the childhood focus. Did we not already choose one for him? I thought we were going to choose Faith. Yeah, I think we already chose Faith for him. But maybe it doesn't keep it? Yeah, I'm fairly certain we were going to choose Faith. Yeah. I think we're choosing Faith, then we switch to Marshall or something like that when he's uh, actually old enough. As Storm King christened the meekest to the Stormlander War for Alison's claim on Dragonstone on King Uron of Westeros. Who is Alison? Um, Alison. Okay. Uh, we are looking for. Th She's the only Alison who exists. No, that can't be right. Uh, there is some more. I don't know why it doesn't sort it when you sort by name. That's a bit weird. Anyway, uh, Alison. Alison. No, I'm just trying to find the right one. That's a weird thing. I haven't seen many faced God. Okay, cool. Uh, nope. Can't seem to find this person who, in theory, has a claim. Uh, is that you? No, oh, that's City of Norse Fields. I'm suspecting it's a Targaryen, which is why I'm interested and in actually spending some time to uh, look for it. Oh, there we go. Alison Wenwater. Okay. I assume that's the right one. Yeah, that's the right one. Weird. Not really who I thought would be getting a claim, but that's fine. They have a claim and he is pressed for it. Uh, our liege is still winning his wars. Uh, in theory, Westeros could quite easily beat our liege if they just put their armies together. Invite to plot. Would you would like us to kill Helia Wilson. Who is Helia Wilson? Um, she's in our court, right? Helia Wilson is drowned god. No. I really don't want you doing that, and in fact, we will probably imprison you for trying to kill someone of the Drowned God. Is that our pr was that our previous policy? Because we know about Fally is trying to kill Wendell Lover, who is an old god, which we were fine with. I'm not. I don't think we're fine with uh, you trying to kill Helia. Okay, oh, do we have to tell you to stop? We can't just uh, like imprison you. He will not stop. Okay. Oh, he's not in our court. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I guess there's not much we can do. We're not in the plot. We said no. Uh, I guess there's not much we can do then. Well, I mean, we could tell everyone in the plot to stop, but that doesn't seem like the kind of thing we'd really be up to for doing. Like, we're not necessarily nice. We were just trying to stop them killing drowned god people if it was easy to do. Uh, my leash by my work in Lord Landsport seems to have come to fruition. My leash, my work in Landsport seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents, I've managed to fabricate a claim on the Lordship of Landsport, presently held by Lord Lancel of Harlaw. Leave it up to you whether to press it or not. We will, of course, press it. Now, how are we looking for men? We have quite a few. We also have our mercenary band that we could raise up. We have maybe 2.4 thousand men. They have 2.7, and no alliances, though. Hmm. It's an option. We, we can't quite get there yet, but soon, I think we would be able to go and take over Lannisport. Uh, we should also change you from uh, fabricating a claim. Uh, go sow some descent. Also, that was a really quick claim, again. Let's uh, see if we can grab some more land. My treasurer, Silas Kenning, has expressed a desire to get married and asked for my permission to find a suitable spouse. Uh, you can marry as you please. Oh, betrothed can marry. Uh, Lord Illus of the Gold Road it can marry Grisilla Pike. Um, who is Grisilla Pike? Is that like our sister or something? No, no. Who are you? Like, can I open up your... There we go. That's not really what I'm looking for. I'm going to open up her page, but it's not giving me a way to... Oh, I can do it like this. Oh, Grisilla Hasterton. Sure. Yeah, you can marry. I, I didn't... Oh, I guess we inherited the ability to make that betrothal. Like, Lord Lannis made it, and then we inherited the, uh... Like, the responsibility when he died. I think. That's how it worked. I was like, I don't remember doing that. 
Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that dragons live once more and that Dahlia now rides Balerion into battle. Who is Dahlia? I don't know, but she has a very fancy coat. Definitely. Uh, she is married to Triarch Corhors of, uh, or Corhees of, um, Volantis. Does he not also have a dragon? He has Vagar and she has Balerion. Wow. That is, um, that's pretty good. Morgan Macy died in the dungeons of Lord Materis of Driftmark. Uh, that is the father of, uh, yes, of Martin Storm, who is in our court. Okay. Gorman of Oakenshield Peasants Revolt has led the Peasants Revolt. Cool. Um, I would think that our Lee should be losing soon, but I guess he's just not. Helia Wilson had a son named Drin. Okay, so if they were trying to kill her, uh, kill her before she had a son, that is too late. Uh, where is the Reach's army? Is that really all of it? Uh, 2,000? Um, they have 7,000 troops, so that's actually quite a large chunk of it. Yeah, I guess our liege is going to win all of these wars. It's just a bit off, really. Uh, we have about uh, 2.6 thousand troops right now. How many does Lannisport have? 2.7, okay. Grisilla says one of her favourite toys is missing and she won't go to bed without it. I may have thrown it out today when I was tidying up. Um, well, we are not slothful like our mother, so we'll actually go and find it. See how that goes. When I found the toy, Grisilla was crying about going uh, through the trash, but now she is satisfied. She, now she is not satisfied because it smells. It stinks. Oh well. That's fine. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.